Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today, we are going to be talking about Hedera or HBAR. I have quite a bit of things to talk about, especially in regards to the possibility of a lengthened cycle where we could be, also what is being built uh, in silence. So with that in mind, uh, before we fully jump into this video, I just want to ask if you guys could please leave a like on this video. It does help the channel grow immensely. Also, if you guys do want to get my personal exit plans, my trading indicators, all that kind of stuff, you guys could go check out ncashofficial.com. But with that in mind, let's just jump in and let's talk about the market. So overall, the market is still ranging on. We are not bullish. We are not bearish just yet. We have no validation in order for us to be bullish, aka 53k on Bitcoin being reclaimed or bearish. In order for us to get bearish, we would need to break down below the lows printed just recently. And I'm not talking about the lows from, you know, a few days ago back here i'm talking more so about these lows at around like 48.5k somewhere around this point of about almost 47k somewhere in that point uh we are waiting for us to break down a little bit more that will pretty much bring us to our major bottom level for bitcoin in my opinion uh is bitcoin in a bear market that's the number one question for a lot of people in my mind i don't think it is i still think that there's still a lot of room to grow for a lot of this market including our lovely friend uh hbar so with HBAR, I know a lot of people have been, you know, pretty much getting frustrated. That is totally fine. That's actually healthy. In order for us to go higher, a lot of people have to get shaken out. And what is the best way to shake people out? Well, it's pretty much patience. Patience is the biggest issue for a lot of individuals. Many individual individuals do not have the patience in order to succeed in crypto. That is why when you hear a lot of people say, hey, you were lucky because you made money off of crypto. It's not luck. It's patience. It's time. It's dedication. It's being able to not be an emotional trader because I know for a lot of people, you know, this drop here was probably terrifying, but you know what? If you guys were, you know, here throughout this entire process, you'd guys be back here with me as well when I was saying, hey, this drop is totally fine. It's healthy. It's needed. Everybody was so bearish during this time. And then all of a sudden, boom, everybody started getting bullish, bullish, bullish. And look at what ended up happening, right? We were pretty much repeating that same process again, except this time, guess what? We go much higher. So with that in mind, we are waiting for the market settlement to kind of get validated. We're still waiting on a little bit of things to move around the market. And all while things are moving, everybody's kind of just focused on price action instead of what is happening behind closed doors. So let's actually jump into that. Let's talk about what Hedera is actually building and what they are actually focused on, because I think that's going to surprise a lot of people who, you know, didn't really do a deep dive on this. Actually, I don't think anybody on YouTube has done a deep dive in on this, but I'm going to do it for them. So let's jump in and let's talk about what is happening within the Hedera ecosystem. So first off, we go back a little bit to November 12th. Now, to a lot of people, this might not be something that big. You know, Actio, a platform bridging DeFi wealth management payments teams up with HBAR Foundation. And to a lot of people, they're probably like, yeah, sounds like almost every other project, right? You know, this is wealth management. This is you know, decentralized finance, aka bridging it, uh, and of course payments and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty much what you hear on a day-to-day -day basis. But the best part about this, okay, isn't exactly the use cases that they're going to be building, but it's overall what they are going to be disrupting. And if we do come down here, we do see here, we're impressed with Actio's revolutionary platform and pleased with their choice of the Hedera network to enable their vision for providing retail investors with a seamless integrated model that puts their capital to work while enabling the convenience of immediate liquidity that you'd associate with having cash in the bank. This is the future of banking and, and the HBAR Foundation is proud to help accelerate the evolution of Actio. And if you guys did miss this, this is essentially their new app that should enable users to automate investments with intelligent algorithms, generate income with digital assets, and be seamlessly connected to the Actio Wealth Card, an internationally recognized payment card that will allow for direct payments with invested capital. Now, I've talked about digital banks becoming a thing. This is essentially what you could call a wealth management digital bank. This is going to be incredible to say the least. And of course, we do see here as a company, Actio is committed to sustainability enhanced levels of uh, customer transparency with prioritizing uh, the best possible price and exchange route for our users. The Hashgraph consensus used by Hedera's distributed ledger technology provides a more time, cost, and energy efficient mechanism to approve transactions than proof of work blockchains. Hmm, pretty interesting. So like I said, things are moving fairly fast. And in my mind, 
I think that this is going to be huge. Now, this goes back to only November 12th. This was a little over almost a year, or not a year ago, a month ago. Um, now, with this, we also look at what else happened this year. We go back to MTech and Hedera Hashgraph, join forces for highly performant, trusted, and energy efficient central bank blockchain infrastructure. Now, this might to some people might not seem like much. We've discussed MTech, we've talked about the, you know, CBDC for the US, we've talked about you know what mtech has been doing uh, as long uh with you know the digital sand dollar and stuff like that they have been doing a lot of things now with this we look at what they're trying to do this partnership brings both companies unique capabilities together to design modern financial market infrastructures that deliver on those key principles cbdc is more than a software application it's an infrastructure and we want to get it right obviously they chose hedera hashgraph for their high performance and high trust as you guys do see here now this is great to say the least and like i've said in terms of cbdc's they do want the highest grade trust and where could they get that with the asynchronous byzantine fault tolerance aka the consensus algorithm that hedera has built this is going to be incredible mtech's private cbdc platform will look to leverage the fast fair and secure hashgraph consensus algorithm like i said now like I said, this is going to be much bigger than anybody could really kind of fathom. This is going to pretty much march us forward on into a digitized age. Like I said, digital banks are coming, CBDCs, aka digital money is coming, and this is going to be all within the Hedera scene. Of course, there's going, going to be other DLTs that are going to be building similar products and focused on similar use cases, but I think in terms of what Hedera is doing for trust and security is going to be the number one choice. We also look back at this going all the way back to June 15th, and I actually specifically remember um, live streaming this event and talking to you guys about it. So MTech CEO uh, testifies before the US House of Representatives on the future of blockchain and central bank digital currencies. The era of central bank innovation is here. The use of distributed ledger technologies, application programming interfaces or APIs, and data analytics offer central banks new tools to be effective regulators and collaborators in innovation. And of course, we do see here to address the challenges of today and capture the opportunities of tomorrow in the era of CBDCs, central banks should strategically deploy an actionable sandbox framework to solve key challenges and conduct safe innovation in order to test those CBDC concepts. Okay, so understand that first off, API gateways are here. Digitization of the financial scene is here. This is going to provide first off, you know, banking, you know, uh, for an example, inclusion because we do see down here you know this includes providing solutions to america's estimated 14.1 million unbanked and underbanked populations of course and when we're talking about inclusion and we're talking about you know what's happening within cbdc's they want to provide you know a digital framework for those who don't have a phone for those who don't have you know a bank account this is going to be very interesting and they are talking about concepts such as the fed wallet and a green cbdc Huh, how are they going to pretty much, you know, create a green CBDC? How will they do that? Well, they are going to utilize a DLT technology, aka Hedera Hashgraph. We've already seen the confirmation with that. You know, they didn't even announce this until October 8th, when we knew that MTech was working with Hedera back in May. Why do you think they didn't focus on that initially and to announce this initially? Well, it's because they know what they are building. They know what they are doing. They don't want people, you know, getting extremely rich off of investing into something like HBAR. That is why we need to get through the frustration phase where everybody's pretty much jumping out of it because they're so frustrated. Then that's when it really pops. Okay, and I, I suspect that we will get to that point. But also, this is more so future-proofing, you know, Hedera Hashgraph as a long-term investment as well. Understand what is being built. This will take years to get to, you know, the major industrial revolution of payments and the financial scene, but we are getting there. And Hedera Hashgraph, in my mind, is a focus point. We do see DBS, right, becomes the first Southeast Asia bank or Asian bank to join Hedera Governing Council. Now, of course, you know, to a lot of people, this was probably nothing. But look at some of the key things to break down here. The bank joins a council that includes 39 other technology, corporate and nonprofit organizations. Of course, the leading ones are labeled there. The Hedera Governing Council aims to boost the Hedera and Hashgraph networks, adoption and decentralized finance, non-fungible tokens, central bank digital currencies, gaming and other industries. They are focused on so many industries. It's absolutely ridiculous. Council members serve 
serve an initial three-year term that can be extended to a maximum of two terms. Uh, members have equal voting rights to decisions designed to governing, uh, govern so, uh, software changes to the network while providing stability and continued decentralization. We look forward to joining our peers on the Hedera Governing Council and exploring future use cases that bring tangible benefits to our stakeholders. And of course, last month, the bank's uh, brokerage arm, DBS Vickers, uh, was granted a license to operate as a major payment institution from the Monetary Authority of Singapore, meaning its digital asset exchange can operate in the city state. And I just want you guys to understand, digital asset exchange, a bank pretty much building out a digital asset exchange that is essentially going to be the digital stock market. Understand what is happening behind closed doors. Then of course we do see here, seven amazing altcoins that investors haven't discovered yet. And guess what is not uh, named out of all of these? In my mind, I think a lot of people know about ADA, a lot of people know about the graph, a lot of people know about Polkadot, Algorand, Barnbridge, Dash, etc. But not a lot of people know about Hedera Hashgraph and what HBAR is actually building. I don't think people realize how big HBAR is actually going to become. And of course we do see here Hextrust with HBAR. What are they doing exactly? Well, look at what they are doing. With this collaboration, Hextrust facilitates the expansion of the enterprise grade protocol by providing banks, financial institutions, and institutional investors a safe, secure, and compliant way to integrate HTS-based tokens. Working closely with TOCO, a wholly owned subsidiary of DLA Piper, as a strategic custodian further demonstrates our commitment to implementing robust compliance standards and protecting investor interest. Understand what we are holding. Guys, with its focus on the highest security standards and enterprise-grade workflows and rigorous approach to compliance, Hextrust has established itself as a leading bank-grade Asian digital asset custodian. Given Toco's traction in the asset tokenization market, we are excited to see Hextrust appointed as an official custodian of Toco. I don't even need to explain how big this is in terms of tokenization, but also look at what they are focusing on. Banks, financial institutions, and institutional investors. Do you guys realize the amount of money, the capital that will flow through Hedera? I don't think you guys realize it. Because first off, check back to May 20th when Chainlink Labs joins Hedera Governing Council. Of course, they are focusing on Web3 startups and stuff like that. They're focused on the Web3 world of decentralization and, you know, oracles and stuff like that. But overall, what does, you know, where does Chainlink stand in terms of the future? Well, Chainlink is focusing on tomorrow, the future of smart contracts, aka trillions of dollars. And I just included this in a video from yesterday, but look at how massive these markets are compared to DeFi and cryptocurrency. It's comical to say the least. And of course, we are stepping foot in the DeFi space, as you guys know. Now, we also look back on what is happening in quarter one and quarter two of this year, uh, or not this year, but next year. Okay, lengthening cycles, X H bar, new GC members, use cases going live, mainnet leaves beta, SC uh, 2.0, you know, H bar foundation, begin to see the fruits of our labor, quarter one, community nodes, staking, understand what is about to happen. This is the perfect storm for H bar. And of course, you know, in terms of the lengthening cycle, for anybody who does want to, you know, get confirmation on it, look back on some of the individuals in the space like Credible Crypto who are focusing on the length and cycle. Quoted to tweet was from the green circled region on this chart back at 16K. That structure was running fiat or flat, sorry. The same structure I have proposed that we are in now as long as we don't get a weekly close below 43K. This divergence should play out and kick off our journey to 100K plus for Bitcoin. Okay. And you know how long it's going to take for us to get to 100K? months and that's going to be in in 2022 now with this you know how i feel when i think about how much richer we will be in six months from now and this is the truth because when we're looking back on things and if we're talking about a lengthened cycle into quarter one and quarter two of 2022 first off check this out right we know everybody's trying to escape inflation, but we need staking. Without staking, institutional crypto investors cannot escape inflation. Well, guess what's coming to Adara Hashgraph in quarter two of 2022? That's right, staking rewards program. This is going to provide us with a massive catalyst event that could possibly push us to $10 plus. 
I don't need to tell you guys that. You guys could obviously see it happening right now within this crypto space with a lot of assets that are getting staking rewards. They are skyrocketing in price. Then, of course, we do see scalable smart contracts coming to the network as well. HBAR is perfectly positioned for quarter one and quarter two. I think that this lengthened cycle is a perfect catalyst event or a perfect storm, as Zepsi is saying here, for Hedera Hashgraph. I am excited. Are you guys excited? And of course, when we're looking back on things that are being built, like I said, the future is the digital revolution of payments and the payment scene. I am excited to be a hbar holder because hbar in my mind is going to be at the heart of a lot of this digitization scene and guys i am very very excited for the future of hedera but with that in mind i hope that you all enjoyed this video if you guys did definitely leave a like subscribe to notifications on it guys some more free content you guys are more than welcome to follow me on twitter and join the free discord down in the description below as always i hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world this has been nick peace out guys